It's 14 days since the World Cup started, and we've become immune to the shocks, but this is a big one. Germany have been eliminated. It's not something we've heard since 1950, or even if you go further, since the 1930s. Germany have never been kicked out willingly, as somebody put it, from the FIFA World Cup. Welcome to the Pulse uh, Sports Edition, the World Cup part of the discussion. I'm here with Selwyn Saki, and I'm Gary Al Smith. So today, we simply had a lot of mathematics on our plates. So, Wim, give us an idea of what we needed to see ahead of the games between Germany and South Korea and Sweden versus Mexico. Well, um, the, before this game started today, we knew that um, Germany had a chance, Korea had a chance, Sweden had a chance, Mexico were already through, but then they could have been facing an upset if they also lost the game by kind of a gold margin. You explained that at 2 o'clock exactly. on, on, yeah, on sports exactly. today. Yeah, we did. Yeah. So we know what it's all about. But then Korea beat Germany 2-0, which led them to over Germany in the group. Mexico also lost 3-0 to Sweden. And Sweden at the moment are on top of the group. And Mexico follows. So Mexico also listened to the, the information later because they were still weren't sure about their situation in the game. But as we know at the moment, Sweden tops the group. Mexico follows Korea. It's next. And then Germany current world champions are out. As you see on the table, with a the queue there, it means that they have qualified. And if anybody told you that Sweden were going to go above Mexico and Germany at the start of the tournament, you probably thought it had a drink or two. But that's what this World Cup has been about. So at a point, Sweden started by stunning Mexico with a goal, which meant that Germany needed to score a couple of times. And then Sweden scored again and again meaning that Germany simply needed one goal. And in their push to score one goal, they threw everything only to allow themselves to be hit hard by Korea. 2-0 in the final couple of minutes. So what this means is that the world champions are gone out of the World Cup. Tell us, remind us again about why this seems to be a trend. Well, since um, 2006, we've been facing a hoodoo whereby the champion always is getting out of the tournament in the group stage. In 2010, we saw the Italian champions in 2006 being eliminated in the group stage in 2010. In 2014, we also saw the Spanish champions, the Spanish world champions, which they won in 2010 then, being eliminated in the 2014 World Cup. And now, the same hoodoo is facing us in the face, and we are seeing Germany, who are the 2014 World Cup champions, being eliminated in the 2018 World Cup. So the question is, if Ghana goes to a World Cup, would you want Ghana to win a World Cup and then go out in the next stage? Yes, I would. I don't, I don't, I don't care about that, because being a World Champion should count for something. But we have another game tonight, Serbia and Brazil, mm -hmm. and we know that Brazil also can go out tonight. They definitely can go out tonight because Serbia also has three points, Brazil has four points, Switzerland has four points. If Brazil should lose that game, Serbia gets six points, and if Switzerland should beat Costa Rica, which, I mean, it's possible. it's possible, Switzerland could be going through with Serbia. So it's still an open group for them. Anything could happen. Brazil could be eliminated if they lose. They definitely need to win that game. As, as we heard um, a couple of days ago, and as we've been hearing since the past week, I mean, People have been calling this World Cup the Obia and Obia World Cup. I mean, it's unbelievable, the excitement and the kinds of results are getting. But that's why it's the greatest tournament in terms of football in the world. People say it's the Champions League. The World Cup says, hold my beer as well. So, um, in terms of the results and what it means, we know. But do we know who these teams are going to face yet, or it depends on tonight's matches? It depends on tonight's matches. We'll be able to find out who and who are going to meet at the moment. We know that Sweden and Mexico have found their places over there, and they will be looking at what happens in the other group to also know what's going to go on. Right. So some of the fixtures that have been confirmed are Spain, Uruguay, Spain, Port Spain Uruguay, Portugal, Russia, Portugal, yeah, Portugal, Portugal, Russia. Russia um, and um, we know that France will be playing Argentina. Yes, yes. That's a big one. Yeah. Croatia, Denmark. Croatia, Denmark is also going to happen. Yeah. Portugal, Russia. Is yeah. it Portugal, Uruguay or Portugal, Russia? Portugal, Russia, Spain, Uruguay. Oh, right. Right. That should be, that should be fun. Um, the next game, Serbia versus Brazil, will be live on Joy FM. And you can listen to commentary. Build up starts from 5.30. Myself and George Ado Jr. will be on the beat for that one. That's the spot for now, Selwyn. Thanks for your time. I'm Gary Al Smith. We'll see you soon.